Looks like we have a pontoon project going on. Buddy's been out on the lake and that, and every time he gets done, he opens up that plug and he has like 10 gallons of water in the pontoon, so definitely has a crack in here. And I'm thinking, right here on the back, this is where all your tension is, your torque from the engine and everything, so maybe it's just eventually stressed this out. They've tried to cover it up and seal it with some some type of sealant. So we're gonna have to get that all cleaned off. Then we'll get inside here and see what exactly we have going on. But it looks like it's been repaired before. You can see some action going on here. But we'll get it all cleaned up and we'll disconnect our batteries so we're not smoking any of that action. Let's see if we can get it welded back up and getting back out using it. Two and a half hours later, we finally get all that sealant out of there. As you can see, there is some major issues going on here. It split clear up into here. So I'm going to do a little bit more cleaning and then some more acetone over that. Get it as clean as I can and we'll start welding it up. On this side, it's not nearly as bad, but you can see where there's been some damage here before and they've welded this plate back in. But I think we can clean it up a little bit more and I'll inspect it and see if I can see any cracks that are in there. Or maybe I'll just do a wrap around this corner that's kind of iffy. But we'll go ahead and get them cleaned up a little bit more. And that's one thing is Clean, clean, clean. That's the way it's got to be in order to get it done and get it done right. I'll go ahead and pop the plugs out of these. So we're not building any pressure. I doubt they will, as big as it is, but it's always good to be safe and get a vent in them. We'll get that welded up and then I'm going to up a little gauge and see if I can put three or four pounds of pressure in it and hold it with a Schrader valve and just see if it holds pressure so that we know that there's no other issues going on. We'll go from there. Well, that was fun. Got her welded up. Not the prettiest job, but man, there was a lot of stuff boiling up out of that while I was trying to weld it. Plus it being outside with a little breeze, but excuses aside, I think it took it to put a few different passes on it. When I started in on it, you could just see that crack start running on me. got ahead of it and weld it all back up on the other side. We got it all in there. So, 
be good to go now. I'm going to try to put a fitting on it and put some air in it. Not a lot. You don't want to ever put too much air in these. You'll blow, you'll blow the ends right out of them. I'll just put a few pounds in it and just watch it and see if it holds. If it does, fine. If not, then I'll have to look a little farther. I do know if it's down behind any of these, it's not going to be an easy fix. You'd be lifting the deck off of this to get in there and repair it. So, see if I can get some fittings together and we'll get that tested. And then I'm going to move up to the front here and we're going to install a ladder on this today also.